friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I track calories and macros. Happy Monday, it is the Monday after Easter. I hope you had an amazing, amazing Easter. Mine was pretty low key. I went to coffee with my mother-in-law. That's about all I did for Easter. But since it's Monday and it's a new week, I have an amazing meal prep for you. Protein packed, delicious recipes. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do upload new videos five days a week and Monday's always meal prep day. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. All of today's recipes are on my website. I will make sure to link that at the top of the description box. Links and discounts to all my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's get started on this week's meal prep. This week I am making protein baked oatmeal. I have been craving baked oatmeal and I'm so excited for this. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need rolled oats, Lily's chocolate chips or any chocolate chip of your choice, protein powder. As always, I'm using a scent. This is my micellar casein and vanilla bean. One of my favorite protein powders ever. I really, really, truly love this. This and Clean Simple Eats are my favorite. So I will link a scent down below. I buy it right off of Amazon. You'll need salt. I'll also link my gravity said gravity fed salt and pepper grinders again off of Amazon. Milk of your choice. I'm using Fairlife for the extra protein. Vanilla, cinnamon, baking powder, and a couple of bananas. And I almost forgot maple syrup. You'll all need some maple syrup. I'm going to use Lakanto. I will also link Lakanto with 15% off site wide. For the baked oatmeal, everything with the exception of the chocolate chips goes into a high speed blender. So I have my Ninja blender here. We're going to start with two cups of rolled oats, one cup of milk, a quarter cup of Lakanto maple syrup, two bananas, some salt, a scoop of a scent protein, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to add way more. I'm going to do about a teaspoon. I love cinnamon. And then lastly, we are going to measure out a teaspoon of baking powder. And then you're going to put this little mixture on high and blend it until it's more of a paste-like consistency. So here is the consistency of our baked oatmeal. So it's more like a batter. I'm going to go ahead and pull out an eight by eight baking dish, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and we'll get the batter into the pan. So we're going to go ahead and pour the batter into our eight by eight baking dish. Then we're going to add 200 Lily's chocolate chips right on top. And then I'm gently going to kind of fold those in to the batter. So I'm just going to kind of swirl them in. I still want them on top, but I want that chocolate melty goodness throughout the baked oatmeal as well. So we're popping this into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. The baked oatmeal is out of the oven. This looks and smells incredible. It smells like a bakery in here and we're getting in protein. So I'm so excited for this. The recipe makes four servings. I will go ahead and put all of the points, macros, all the information here on the screen for four servings. I'm actually going to cut mine into six because four servings is huge. And I think having mine into six will lower the points, lower the calories, lower the protein a little bit, but I could pair this with some eggs, some fruit. So I'm going to do six servings. So I'll put all of that nutritional information here on the screen as well. That way you have the option of four servings or six servings. For lunch this week, I am making orange balsamic glazed salmon. I'm so excited for this. I've been thinking about salmon a lot. And then I'm going to roast up some asparagus as well so I have a nice, healthy, protein-packed lunch. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need maple syrup. So again, I'm using Lakanto. That'll be linked down below with 15% off. 
balsamic vinegar, ginger, salt, and pepper. I'm going to season my asparagus actually with the Green Goddess seasoning from Trader Joe's. I love that on vegetables. I have a big bundle of asparagus, one fresh orange, and then I have some salmon. Mine's actually from Imperfect Foods. This salmon is such excellent quality. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my glaze so that I have it ready to go and I can go ahead and set it aside. So I'm going to take a fresh orange, cut it in half, and I'm going to squeeze all of the juice. We want about a half of a cup of, of juice. I do have a second orange if I need it, which it looks like I'm probably gonna need that second orange to get enough juice. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of syrup, about a half a teaspoon of fresh grated ginger, a teaspoon of balsamic, and salt and pepper. And then give that a stir to mix that glaze together and set it aside. I'm going to spray a baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. Then we're going to add our pieces of salmon. We're going to add about half of the glaze over the salmon and then go ahead and set the other half of the glaze aside because we're going to reglaze our salmon once it's done cooking. Our salmon's going into our 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and prepare my asparagus. I'm going to cut off the rough ends, spray my baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray, and then I'm going to put my asparagus out in a single row. I'm going to spray it with just a little bit of cooking spray just so the seasoning sticks. And then I'm going to sprinkle on the Green Goddess from Trader Joe's. You can use any seasonings that you like on your vegetables. And then some salt and pepper. And I'm going to put this in the same oven with the salmon, 400 degrees until the asparagus is cooked through. They should both be done relatively close to the same time. I just pulled out the salmon. I'm going to add the rest of the glaze right on top of the cooked salmon. I just pulled out the asparagus. Oh my gosh, everything looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this into storage containers and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So there's my salmon for the week. There's my asparagus for the week. I'm super excited for this. I probably will pair this with some type of healthy carb. I don't know if it'll be rice, potatoes. I'm not sure yet, but I am just excited to have this protein-packed, veggie-packed lunch ready to go. So all of the information for the recipe is here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making Oreo protein balls. I cannot tell you the excitement that I have for this recipe. I love anything cookie dough, Oreo, cookies and cream, so this are going to be amazing. So let me show you what you'll need. Again, you'll need some vanilla protein powder. I'm just using my Ascent. This is such a staple for me, not just for baking, but for overall protein shakes. It's so, so, so good. So again, I'll link it down below on Amazon. You'll need flour, Lily's white chocolate chips, granulated sweet sweetener. This is Lakanto, one third less fat cream cheese. And then I'm using Oreo thins. You can also use regular Oreos. I just thought save some calories with the Oreo thins. So for the Oreo balls, super simple. Everything is going into this bowl except the white chocolate chips. So we're going to start with two scoops of our scent protein, one quarter cup all purpose flour, six tablespoons, one third less fat cream cheese, three tablespoons of the Lakanto sweetener, and then four Oreo thins crushed. We're going to start stirring our mixture together and if it's too thick, we want, you can add a little bit of water, you could add a little bit of almond milk, but you want a dough consistency because we're going to roll this into our little protein balls. We're going to roll the mixture into 10 balls. Set them on a baking sheet and then they're going to go in the fridge for about 15 minutes. These are going into our refrigerator for about 15 minutes. I added four tablespoons of Lily's white chocolate chips to a bowl. We're going to melt this down because we're going to drizzle this over our cooled protein balls. So I just pulled the Oreo protein balls out of the fridge and I'm going to again just drizzle some of the Lily's white chocolate right on top of each of them. And then I'm going to pop these back in the fridge until the white chocolate is set. 
Look at these amazing Oreo protein balls. I did try a little piece of one. It's so good. It tastes like cookies and cream ice cream and you're getting lots of protein in a sweet treat. And these are really good size, super, super good size. So I'll go ahead and put the serving size, which is one ball, there's 10 servings per recipe, all the macros, calories here on the screen for you. joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I definitely can't wait to enjoy them all week long. Don't forget down in the description box, I will put my recipe website. This is where you will find all three of today's recipes, links and discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to an amazing, amazing on-track successful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.